Hello guys, the Little White Knight here. In this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to install the AT Launcher. And not only that, is to install a Pacific mod pack and connect to a server that is located with that mod pack. Now, in this video, it's mainly for people that don't know how to, or have not used much of a way of mods or mod packs in general or launchers that other than the vanilla Minecraft launcher. Now, let's get started, shall we? Now, once you start, you want to you know hit up a Chrome or you know an Explorer or Firefox, whatever you use for your internet needs. You want to go to Google and type in AT Launcher. Now you can use other launch or um, search engines, but Google's probably the best ones out there. And then once you hit that up, you click on the ATLauncher.com, and you want to go down to Downloads. Once you hit the Downloads, you want to go blah 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 down here. And if let's say you have Windows like I do, you want to hit the Windows.exe, or if you have Mac, click on the Mac OS X app or Linux or others. You want to get the jars. Now once you do that, you want to click that once, and it will start downloading. And once it starts downloading, you want to do an install, and you probably want to put it into a folder. Alrighty. Right after that, you want to get it open, shall you? So. Once you have it open and have it launching, it would take a little while to start up for a while, but yeah, it's gonna happen once in a while. So once you start up right away, you wanna go down to here, then select an account, then start to sign in. Or you go to accounts here, put your email, password, remember if you want to do it, and add. And once you do that, you want to go down to packs. Then you have Sky Factory, Resident Arise, the Mad Pack, Crack Pack, you know, stuff like that. The server that I use is Resident Arise. Now, for that, since I'm going to say start up an instance here, and right here, the version to install, currently, of the making of this video, it is currently Resident Arise 3.2.7.0, which is going to be this one right here. Alrighty, once you have that happen, it's going to be, just click install. I'm just going to go blah 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 blah. But um, once you get to this screen right here, it's obviously waiting for you to click all the mods you want to do and use and all that stuff. So, from this screen here, you want to go down to share, use share code. Now this is made you guaranteed that you can join the server right away. Alright, so pay attention to this part here. This part is very important if you want to join any specific server you want to be able to join for any mod packs on the AT launcher here. Now, in the description I will have my share code going to my server that is currently how it is during the making of this video. Once you do that, you want to copy it paste by doing control C and then control V and see now it has the right there then click that then it will automatically fill out everything that you need now in this part right here you can change the client mods if you so wish but how it is right now that I have by default that's probably the best way you probably will get it now if you want to, if you want to go with Ariel RC, that is the most annoying mod or mod I ever had in my life. But if you really want to talk to people throughout other servers that have no clue what you're doing or have any idea of what what mods are you using at all, so I just take that out altogether so you guys don't need to worry about that. But otherwise, you can change if you want to use a journey map to pixel map, whatever. But everything from mods down and specialty, you know, specials and everything based right here, you do not want to touch. Then you just want to click install. Right after that, it will take a little while to start up. It will take, you know, probably a couple minutes just to download all the mods and all the configs and stuff like that. And once you do that, just simply hit play. Now, I want to warn you guys, this is going to take a while. 
even though you have a really good PC like me, this thing is going to take a while because there's so much mods and Java is written very poorly. <laughs> Thanks, Java. But, um, anyways, this screen will come up and it will just do its thing. So, yeah, let, I'm just going to be right back whenever this is done. And, yeah, let's, uh, skip the pen. Now, once your game finally started, this is not the main screen. This is one with a texture pack or resource pack that you guys can you know, download and mix together, which that will be a different video. But with this point here, you want to go down to multiplayer. And as you see, I already put it on this instance here. And you want to go down to add server. I name server whatever you want. And then you want to grab the IP that's in the description, which is this s 5 hostwordcom Yeah, it's 25878897. Right there, you want to get the whole thing. Make sure you don't copy any spaces between it. And make sure you grab the very last part too, or else it will just plain not work. Once you do that, you paste it in. And then you're done. And guess what? You have it connected here. Now, word of warning: you, when, if you're going to need add you know, add more RAM, you do not want to go above half of your RAM that you have currently in your computer. If you're running, at, for instance, a 32-bit computer, you don't want to go above two gigs. And then, at, even with that, you now are not recommended to even use 220 plus mods. You are you know you're made stuck with lighter mods that you're spare but um for the ones that have a um a, with a lot more ram like a 64-bit system does you have an ability to use more ram but you don't want to go anywhere above four gigs due to that could cause a problem with java which includes a whole problem with everything else now it's going to take a while just to start up because of all this stuff that comes up while you're having a little time that it will say you are out using outdated mods blah 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 you just download the latest ones blah 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 but um yeah that's basically it you know don't use more than four gigs that they recommend you to use and and now you could be able to join my server yeah it's a pretty good server I mean yeah it's a good server it, is, it doesn't crash that much yeah that much yeah but um yeah that'd be it guys if you have any other questions or you have any difficulties that I have not gone over or hey you want to even explain a little bit more on more to detail with in the description down below you can or if you need any help downloading it by any chance just you know go down to comments and ask for help and if anyone yeah, see it before I do. I yeah, then we then yeah, nice people around here. You know, people on YouTube are very nice at times. But um, anyways, thanks you guys for watching, and see you guys next time. Bye bye.